you have more girlfriends or guy friends, and do you think that says something about you? I have, I have more, more guy, guy friends. friends. And... Ah! <laughs> and... I don't know. It might be toxic. <laughs> do you know what that means, right? I have a lot of guy friends. What's that meme of the hot dog shooting in a... Bro, I, I said it in time with her. In time with her. This is a, a girl that has a lot of guy friends. I know them, man. I, I, I speak fluent bot. And that would not have happened if I was not a former bot to some extent. I have a good amount of guy friends, but I feel like it always ends Haram. up with either someone liking each other or- Or you slipping on a hot dog. Or, yeah. It always gets complicated. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Do you think men and women can be just friends? No. Yes. Yes. Of course But I, I think if you asked a guy that, they might say no. I hate to say it, but I think I have more guy friends too. And I don't- Bomboka! They're not your friends. They are just waiting around to fuck. Like, what What do you think that they get from being friends with you? I think it's toxic. I just think girls do tend to start a lot more drama than guys. So maybe that's why girls hang out more with guys than the other way around. Girls, you can have, like, your tea time, your girl time. You talk about your boys, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then with guys, you can be more chill, more, like, flirty, more. It's just a different kind of vibe than with girls, like, I feel like it's both different, but I'm definitely more of a girl's girl. Like, hands on, guys cheating, I'm going for the girls. Girlfriends. Girlfriends for sure. I feel like you can trust them more. Um, I'm kind of a mix because I feel like girls can be stingy, so. Why is it hard for some women to get along with other women? Competition. Attitude. Attitude. Girls are greedy, envious, jealous, so. Women are fake. Women are just haters. <laughs> Women can be bitches. Women suck. <laughs> That's what they're all saying. Women are the worst. Just and catty and judgmental. And That's what they're saying. I didn't say and it. And judge you right off the bat. Why are women called bitches for acting masculine while men are called bitches for acting feminine? Oh, that's a tough one. <clears throat> Man, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean. Why are some women proud of being bitches? <laughs> I, oh yeah, she definitely is. Okay, it, it gets in that Louis bag, man. I mean, <laughs> I'm just gonna. It's good to be a bad bitch, like because no one will f with you. If you're too much of a submissive girl, people are gonna step on you. But if you give off the bad bitch vibe, they think being a bad bitch is just being masculine. Is being manly, combative, argumentative. This is why you guys need to go and visit Japan and why you need to go and interact with actually feminine women because there's none of this. There's none of this. And if these women walked around, here's a, a story that happened. I was in Japan. All the women are incredibly feminine. They dress feminine. They walk around feminine. They have a makeup like that. The, the service there, they just, there's not a drop of testosterone in their body. It's, it's so cute. They're just like, what the hell? What the hell? It's like, oh, I just want to protect you. I just want to save you from a fire. And I'm on the train with Ryan, and there's this girl asleep sitting down like this. And she has like some like painted nails and whatever, they're goofy. Everyone in Japan is quiet on the train. They all lower their voice, they're respectful, they all dress nice. And then some loud Latina woman gets on the train. Oh, I'm in Japan. This is so, I love it here. Yeah, you need to come. Like she's just yelling, not considerate of anyone around. People are just like, oh, this fucking. The only loud person that I saw was a Westerner, it was a Spanish lady. And she sees the girl sitting down with her nails and she's like, ooh, I, she's on the phone. Ooh, I like her nails. I'm gonna take a picture of her nails just talking out loud. I don't even think she was on the phone. I think she was just holding her phone and talking. Cause then she goes to the camera and then she tries to get a picture and she's like, excuse me, excuse me. And then she sees that the girl's asleep. The girl with the nails is like, is sleeping on the train. Because in Japan, you can sleep on the train. There's nobody that's going to do flips and rob you and stuff like that. You can just sleep on the train. She sees the girl sleeping. And then she says out loud, oh, but I want to take a picture in this girl. And I'm like, yeah, she's, I, I tell her she's, she's asleep. It doesn't register in the Latina woman's head that, oh, well, let me be respectful of this sleeping girl in a country I've never been to before. She saw it as an obstacle in her head. Let me now go and wake her up so that I can take a picture of her nails. So she, t excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. 
I like your nails. Can I? I like your nails. Can I? And then, 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 I can't. Can I? Takes the picture and gets off at the next stop. And that was the most annoying thing I saw because Japan, everybody gets along. The only people who fuck it up are Westerners. And you get to see what women are like without the brainwashing, without the bitchiness, bad bitch attitude. That shit is fucking, why would you put up with that? Like, why would you spend the time and deal with the Cardi B woman? Oh, you better put up with my bad bitch, yeah. Oh, you, you don't like, you can't handle me. Ugh, ugh. Bomboka. The worst. Masculine ass women. You gotta see Japan for yourself because even the way I'm explaining it right now, you are not gonna believe it until you actually see women act like women. No one's gonna fuck with you, you're gonna get respect. Know your value and always add taxes. <laughs> Period. Isn't that the female version of toxic masculinity? It's absolutely it the yeah. it And it's encouraged. It, it's fine. It's not toxic masculinity, it's just being a bad bitch queen. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> Call it what you want. What is a pick me girl and why is it considered a derogatory term? Um, the girl next to me is a, a sure. pick me girl. Oh She's feminine. See, pick me is just a feminine woman. It's a woman who wants to be picked by her husband. That's not a bad thing, but we've demonized it because for some reason we look down on feminine women in the West. We see them as weak because they're submissive, but being submissive is a, is a, a female nature. You're supposed to be a pick me. There's nothing wrong with that. It's when girls <laughs> try to change themselves to get guys to, to look like better them. in front of guys exactly so they pretend they like football and like stuff like that when they actually don't and sometimes like they're mean to other girls like put down other girls to make themselves look better in front of guys which isn't me the pick me girl is the one that would do anything to catch a man's attention they neglect what their boundaries are and what they care about just to try to get a man to want all morals at the door me. just pick me pick me pick me <laughs> no morals it will. No morals, but also being a bad bitch, argumentative, toxically feminine, argumentative bitch, that's having morals? Who is a pick me girl? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Who is not a pick me girl? That's a feminine girl. Oh, yeah. Them e-girls is a pick me, like trying to be all flirtatious, voluptuous and all this other. Oh yeah, being flirtatious and voluptuous. What a terrible thing for a girl. You don't like feminine women? Good stuff. She needs all, all the guys attention to and, like feel like okay with herself. And also, she will put her friends aside for a guy, which yeah. is a no-no. So, why are women who please men shamed by other women? Because they're jealous. I think it's. Uh, I think a lot of like women on women hate is mainly jealousy. Yeah, and like insecurity. They most likely just can't get a man, so they shame the ones that actually please a man and treat him like a king. So they have so much hate like against the passport bros movement. A lot of women have hate against the passport bros movement, but they're the same women to say they don't. One of the chat for the passport bros in here. Need a man or want a man's, but they won't dick. So I'm kind of confused. Is there a pick me guy? Yeah, for sure. It's a simp, a white knight, a beta male. I, people who try to, I hate Andrew Tate their way into some pussy. Sneakos a misogynist their way into some coochie, bro. Fuck out of here. Look at all the passport bros. The, those are the pick me guys. Yeah, those those red pill guys are they're misogynistic. I'm not like them. I'll save you. Shut up. What determines when each gender competes versus cooperates? I say more so them. Um, the women compete, the men cooperate. I can see that. Competes, competes versus, versus cooperate. cooperate. <laughs> um, what is it called? Well, in other words, what are things that men do to compete for women? Um, flex. Ooh. Definitely Show flex. Off that money. Who has the most money? Try to be funny, try to be big, try to be strong, try to be loud, try to be fast. What are the things women do to compete for men? Try to be pretty, try to be loyal, promiscuous. Show off that what? body. Who has the big. Loyal and promiscuous? Does he know what promiscuous means? Your ass. And it's me. What are the things that men do to compete for women? Um, they show off their money. Yeah, I think um, money, like. Going to like the gym, showing they're strong, showing that they. Wow, becoming a protector and a provider, making money, becoming strong, becoming funny, charming, better overall as a person is how you get a woman. But a woman is just like, I have an ass. I got a BBL. Diva True, thanks for the five salon. Proud of your journey. Hope your travels have been a positive and impactful. Keep it up, brother. I'm going to continue traveling too. Are intelligent. I think they just put themselves out there. Whoever's yeah. the one that's going to put themselves out there the most is probably the one.
What are the things that women do to compete for men? Women go after guys that are already taken. If a man is taken and a woman sees that, he is 10 times more attractive than he- The same way money attracts money, bitches attract bitches. That was Haram. Women attract women. Women want to compete with each other naturally. You get more women when you have women around you. It is what it is. Already was, which is so sad. It, it really is. Is there more of a mutual brotherhood between men or a mutual- Corey in the chat said something funny. One dude started an argument with me about Tate in front of the hoes, and then after he told me he was capping for them and still didn't pull. Fucking simp. Imagine selling out and still not getting laid. Sisterhood between women. Sisterhood between women. Because, you know, if two women have never met, but they're, like, drunk in the club and they vibe, you know, like, you know, it's like, I got you, sis, you know. You yeah, 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 we look out for yeah. each other, whereas men just automatically want to fight each other, yeah. I feel like. <laughs> if it's women, why is it often said women can't get along with other women? I've actually recently seen way more women fight at the club than men fight at the club. What do you and ask Why is it often said women can't get along with other women? Yeah, which they also said earlier in this interview. Look at those stupid faces. Wow. Whoa, that was Guys a good question. Guys respond so quickly. Like, you can see a guy on a street, and they would be, like, brothers for life, like, two seconds. And then girls would be like, you have to compete at first, and then you can, like, That bitch is ugly. Like, become friends. It depends on survival mode. You know, if women are not in survival mode, then they're in competition mode. But when it comes to survival mode, women have each other's backs, I think. You know, regard, regardless if she's a stuck-up bitch, right. if she's drunk, falling out exactly. the club, and some man's trying to get her in the car, I'm yeah. gonna, like, take over. A girl over. will always look out yeah. for another girl, no matter the circumstances. Even if we're fighting or whatever, I see you in trouble, like, I'm going yeah. and I'm looking out for you. Whereas, I feel like men don't really do that for each other. No. Do you think it's true that men will insult each other? Men don't look out for each other? That's the opposite of brotherhood. And not mean it, while women will compliment each other and not mean it. Yes, men will insult each other. Same thing with our chat, bro. You guys call me Liko, Nigko, Leko, Chinko, all this stuff, but just still show up, right? I use racial slurs. Sometimes you guys say faggot, but you don't really mean it. It's just like, hey, faggot. Hey, faggot. It doesn't mean anything. Women will be like, you're so pretty, you ugly cunt bitch slut whore. Yes. Yeah. So would that mean that men have more genuine friendships than women? I think men do have more genuine friendships. Sorry for cursing so much. Yes, very much, because like I said, women are haters. As soon as the woman walks off, she's going to find something wrong with her. Men are more nonchalant than girls, and girls take everything to heart. So, like, if we were to be like, oh, like, your shorts are a little too short or something like that, they'd be like, wow, so you think I'm a hoe? Guys will insult each other day on day, and they'll just joke about it. Girls will obviously, like, compliment each other and not mean it. It's like the... And they both know they don't mean it. It's just like this fake passive-aggressive. It's really funny to see. Thanks to the 10, uh, Gemini. 29-year-old truck driver with wife and daughter on my way to escape the Matrix CEO network. I'm on YouTube trying to inspire men to work hard and get to the gym. Uh, one care on the way. Let's go. Good shit, bro. Meanest thing that they could possibly say, but it's in the nicest way. And guys will never understand it. Do you think women are more judgmental than men? Absolutely. Um, I don't think so. I think men are more judgmental, definitely. I think women are very judgmental, but they're very secretive about it. Girls just have more of a manipulative mindset, and guys just kind of are like, whoop. That's true. <laughs> so then what advice would you give to the men who don't trust women? Oh, well... I don't know. <laughs> I feel like if you don't trust your girl, leave her, baby. <laughs> leave her. This is a tough interview. Yeah. What is, I thought this was going to be like an easygoing no, little. <laughs> Why do women seem to have a problem when women judge other women, but not so much when it comes to women judging men? Like I said before, women are very, very much haters. Yeah, I think everyone's pretty judgmental. It's not gender based. Are the things we judge people on natural or learned behavior? Learned, I think. Yeah. yeah. Why do women seem to have a problem when women judge other women, but not so much when it comes to women judging men? Damn, she, she really fucking reacted to that because they, we, deep down we all know the truth. We're told it's okay to shame men. I actually had this, uh, this revelation, well, I don't want to say revelation, but I had this, this uh, interesting thought yesterday. That Meat Canyon video where someone animated me dying or Meat Canyon animating me getting ripped apart, uh, demasculating, emasculating me, making me look like some asshole like imagine chat that this scene most replayed part of the video imagine if this was pokimane imagine if meat canyon 
animated Pokimane brutally being ripped apart. Andrew Tate wept. Can you can you picture the reaction that social media would have? It's funny that everybody laughed about this every single streamer. Just picture this image here was Pokimane. How would people react? What would happen? Would it be allowed? Would it be deleted off of YouTube? Would there be riots? Pokemon will go on a crying tour and get GoFundMes from everybody. Hillary Clinton would shake her hand and say, you're a hero. Meat Canyon would go to jail. But when it happens to me, everyone laughs. And it, no, I, I get it, it's funny. But the double standard, it really, that, I was like, motherfucker. What a fucker. That would never happen to a woman. And the reason is the culture in the West teaches you to go and destroy masculinity, to destroy that idea. Straight men are bad. The cis white man, that's, the, I'm not even a white guy, like, but that we're told that the masculine man is an evil person. And even the fact that I'm a representation of that is like, okay, but can, can anyone imagine? Men are not respected in the West, we're not. But that's a double standard. That really, I, I'm like, you can't tell me that this would happen to a woman. You're not allowed to make those jokes, but you're allowed, like, put, put the chastity belt on me, said like a lot of, you know, like making fun of my sexuality, making fun of my past, trying to make me look like some asshole, making fun of my, like making my body look all weird. This, this is body shaming. It really is. Not like I'm shamed by this, but it is. It would never happen to Pokemon. And you know that's true, especially the haters. Damn, yeah. Wait, can you say that again? Like, why do women judge men harder than we judge women? Because women support women. That's what I mean by sisterhood. Yeah, women supporting women. Because they don't really support women. They support the idea of tearing down the patriarchy. Because women are all queens. Yeah, yeah. Because we're queens, so we need to be valued with everything. And men are just men, period. Why don't the good, decent women of the world regularly call out or shame the trash women for how they treat men? Because all men are trash and everything that's going on in this world is men's fault. Faggot. Do women see the hip hop? The, the, ex exactly what I'm talking about. One more time, hear this shit. Why don't the good, decent women of the world regularly call out or shame the trash women for how they treat men? This is the dude who says, I hate Sneeko to try to get some pussy. Who tries to say, Andrew Tate's a misogynist to try to get some pussy. This mentality is why this exists. Because people believe this. Because all men are trash and everything that's going on in this world is men's fault. Do women see the hypocrisy of other women or is it more of a you go girl moment? So I feel like it's sometimes. Sometimes I can see the hypocrisy, sometimes I can't. It, it depends. Maybe if I got a little drink in me, you feel me? Love speech. Love speech. I should not have said faggot like that. Love speech. I hope this guy sees the light. Fuck, man. I got to do better. I got to do better. No more No more of these insults. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I said that uh, mean with mean-spirited intentions. Do women ever see the hypocrisy in other women, or is it more of a you-go-girl moment? I feel, like, girl. Yeah, I feel like yeah. it is a more you go girl moment. It's definitely a you go girl moment. It's more of a you go girl moment. It's probably two out of a thousand women probably see the hypocrisy there. Everybody else is, oh, you go girl, full of shit. Do women enable each other's bad behavior and bad character? Yes. They can for sure. I feel like girls can be bad influences, but at the same time, like, no. I see the hypocrisy. Women give the worst advice to each other. Every single relationship book or relationship advice column person for women is just a woman 30 childless unmarried coping Definitely. do women enable each other's bad behavior and yes. bad character yes yes do women enable each other's bad behavior and bad yes. character absolutely 
and they know this and when they have relationship problems who do they go to their girlfriends to go drink tea and talk shit about men because they they know they're coping but they like it why are men the only ones expected to police their own gender because that is what they set for themselves i feel like in today's society that's what men put on themselves so that's what people are going to do i think that there's more of a stigma for men to do it because protect women in that sense so if your hand if your boy is being handsy and she's not reciprocating as positively as you know she should be, then call them out, right? Things like that. Men need policing, that's the thing. Because, like I said earlier, they get away with so much because over the years- No, we don't. We, men go to jail for false allegations. Men don't get away with shit anymore. What are you talking about? Men can do so much. JFK hooking up with Monica Lewinsky. Men can get away with so- I don't like fun! <sighs> Send the asteroid. Send it now. Send it. Look, boy. Much because over the years, men can do so much. JFK hooking up with Monica Lewinsky. She thought she was so smart saying that too. And you want me to stay in the West? You really don't want me to go to move to Japan right now and get a 130 IQ feminine virgin, even when she's 25, she's still a virgin, innocent face, ready to serve you. You want me to date a combative feminist retard? All love, retarded. Like with love, they're retarded. These women are retarded. I say that with love. You want me to stay here and try to start a relationship with one of these? With the JFK and Monica Lewinsky, like literally the patriarchy. Bro, for you don't know, Monica was with Bill Clinton fucking 30 years later. Men can get away with so much. Uh you can get away with being a retard. <laughs> if I said that, it's over. Justin Timberlake, they can just get away with everything and they're never held accountable. What, what, what did Justin Timberlake get away with? What are you talking about? Men are not held accountable? Right? And so that's why they need policing. Whereas women, we're all Women don't need policing? It's just, just. Ugh, sex with me. Always told like, oh, don't hook up. You're a slut if you make out with like one person. So it's like, we're policed by society naturally, but men need their own men to police themselves. You're not a slut if you make out with one person. I guarantee you her body count is above 20. Oops. Why are women able to unite and create a standard for men, but men can't unite and create a standard for women? Because we love bitches. And it's also called misogyny if you hold standards for women in the West. Girls are sensitive, so when it comes to like topics like that, they think that they're like judging them. You're controlling me. But with guys, like guys are like, oh wow, so like if I do this, the girls will like me. Do you trust your man around other women? Yes. Yeah. Do you trust other women around your man? No. No. If women don't even trust other women, why would they expect a man to trust women? That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. I just feel like women do it because they're insecure, so they want to see, like, if the guy will leave their girlfriend yeah. for them. Do you trust your man around other women? No. No! So why are you with somebody that you don't trust? Like the basis of the relationship is already flawed and doomed for failure. If you're publicly saying on camera, I don't trust my man. How the fuck? This is. <sighs> Do you trust other women around your man? No. No. If women don't even trust other. Dudes run around angry all the time. Sassy. Look at that sassy. No. Mm -mm. I don't need no man. You know, it's also funny. Shout out to HK for the 10. <laughs> The average black woman who is five feet, four inches tall, weighs 170 pounds. After spending time in Japan where the average woman weighs 120, like 115, buck, buck 15, something like that. You look at them and you're like, bro, you're fat as fuck. You get kind of used to it and we're normalizing this weight because of like thick and stuff like that. These women are fat as shit. They weigh about the same as me and I'm probably a foot taller than them. Isn't that incredible? We're so used to seeing them walk around. If they were, if a Japanese, picture a Japanese woman being this size. Fat as fuck. But you just get, you, you don't even see it anymore, right? I kind of just look past it because I'm used to them weighing this much. This is really, really overweight. 
after coming back from Japan and like standing in the airport and getting on the plane and even just waiting at the airport with all the people headed to Atlanta, you're like these. The average American is fat, really fat. It's bad. Why do you want me to stay around that? The women, why would they expect a man to trust women? Shit, I honestly have no idea. Why do women often talk about how they secretly run the world, but then also <laughs> complain about how they are so oppressed? Because <laughs> they love power tripping. It's just, it's just delusion. And look at her last, she knows. I'm gonna have to back. I feel like it's because it's a man run world in the most part. Um, like, just. I don't know, multiple years ago, we obviously couldn't vote or anything. So now that we can. Repeal the 19th. The world was better when women couldn't vote. Women shouldn't vote. Women don't really want to vote. Women don't care. It's better if the leader of the household, which should be the father, should be the man, should be the breadwinner, votes. And then she's the one raising the kids. Why does she need to be watching the news and getting brainwashed and getting plugged in by the people and the government who are gonna go and program her? She should be programmed by her husband. The women shouldn't vote. Repeal the 19th. And it still feels like, I don't know, the sky's lim the limit with what we can do. Because we want the world, girls. Who runs the world, girls? Oh, someone say, all love, this guy is such a fucking... <laughs> Wag it. Okay. With what we can do. Because we want the world, girls. Who runs the world, girls? <laughs> he really thought he was going to get some pussy from that. Um, because, I think you said this before. The worst threat is an unidentifiable threat. Does that sound like the type of behavior of somebody who can be trusted? No. No. <laughs> no. Do you think a woman would be welcomed at a woman's march if she's pro-life or has traditional values? Probably not, unfortunately. So do fem- Women's march is pro-death. Feminists really care about all women or just the women who agree with them? Probably the women that agree with them. I think feminists uh, more care about the separation of the household and family and they're going to be the ones that end up lonely and single when they're 40 and 50 and 60 when they're ready to settle, when they could have had a man they spent the rest of their life with and had kids with. That's so is it really about women's choice? Mm, that's a good one. We would like to believe so. So is it really about women's choice? Liking, if you like to believe something that you know isn't true, you're delusional. It's about submit to women, submit. It's over. Look at him. These guys are in charge. He's making that feminist face too. Submit to women. He said this on camera confidently. This is the type of person that's gonna DM me saying that I'm a misogynist piece of shit. This is the guy in TikTok comments saying that Sneeko's a bad person. Here you go. This is what they believe. One more time. Choice. It's about submit to women, submit. Why are you making that evil face at me? You do that. I don't want to do that. Do you want to? Submit. Are you threatening me? Submit. Bro, what the? Why, why, what, did you see like the Satan come out when he said this? Submit to women, submit, submit, submit. That's it's it. your job.